Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, March 28th. It's 2.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock here, today's date and the time. And on my left is the time and sales showing the E-mini S&P trading at 26.19. This is an important video today. This is one of the best days I've seen for the auto tr trader uh, since uh, inception. Uh, today, just about all of the charts we tracked are showing positive results. So it's probably going to be a long video, but I want to start with a couple of uh, charts that are currently in uh, open positions. So first up is the crude on the 610 Heiken Ashi tick chart. And so we're currently a uh, long one with a uh, open profit of about 30 ticks. We have a closed PL of about 560. So the crude oil closes in about seven minutes. This trade's going to uh, close pretty soon. Just wanted to show these live positions here. Also wanted to show you uh, what the auto trader looks like when it's in a trade. Here's our stop loss. Here's our entry point. These things can be dragged uh, anywhere you want, or you can use the buttons to move the stops closer. So if I want to trail by 50% of the distance to where price is now, I can just click this button, and that brings my stop 50% closer. If I click it again, then it will bring it another 50% and so on or I could click trail high low and it'll bring it to the low of one bar ago as you can see here so I've just brought it in quite a bit and hopefully the crude will continue to go higher here and we'll probably close out at uh, in about six minutes at 2.30 Eastern time is the close of the crude Okay, next is another open position on the crude on the 1587 Heiken Ashi chart. And this has an open PL of 300 and a closed PL of 700. So this is probably going to do a thousand or better for the day or so. Okay, here's another uh, open position on the crude. <laughs> this one is actually short. We have a uh, closed PL of 640 and open PL of 160. So we're getting a little bit of a pullback here. But this is on a Superenco 6 tick, a little bit smaller time frame. And it's just about to uh, hit our first target here. It, it touched it, but it didn't get filled. So as you can see, just because it's a limit order, it uh, doesn't get filled if it's touched. So here price traded through, and we got filled on both contracts as probably the end of the session, and we... Uh, closed out with 800 PL for the day. So it was nice that you got to see this position close. This is using our line break logic on this one, the Superenco 6 tick. Here is the uh, template here, and our goal on this is 1,000, so just shy of our goal on this chart. Okay, next is the E mini SP on a one minute chart, and this chart continues to impress, and I haven't uh, changed any of the settings here. The here is the template. Here's the settings. I have a sensitivity of 2.4, and on my money management, I'm using a limit order with a pullback of four ticks, a profit target of 75 ticks, and uh, we are trailing our stop at 75 ticks here, and uh, the the goal is 2,000. So this hit its goal again. And there was a couple of more trades. This long trade here brought us to our goal. So some of these trades being missed by not getting filled in the limit order. But very impressed with the performance on the ES one minute chart. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 34 tick line break chart. Just want to show the setup for this. This is uh, a line break chart. Here's where you select your, uh, your tick setting and your period value is 34 and then three line breaks so anyway we had uh, looks like uh, four trades three winners one loser we had a split fill here uh, so this did quite good here this hit its goal at 2000 as you can see here and we're using a limit order with a pullback of five ticks and here is the name of the template now this should start trading at 3 a.m. the Eurex open 3 a.m. Eastern time, that is. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick. And this started off pretty good. We ran up to 
$1,100 on our first trade. And then we had a little bit of a pullback and then up to uh, back to 1100 And then finally up to our goal with a couple of trades here. So 1610 on the NASDAQ. Here is our template and then our goal on this is 1500 So we had uh, quite a bit of positive slippage, really strong positive slippage on this chart. Okay, next up is the DAX on a uh, one-minute Heike and Ashy chart, and this hit its goal of 2,002 trades. Judging by the size of these moves, I could probably expand my uh, profit targets on this. But taking a look at this, here is our template, and then our goal on this is 1,500. So we had extreme positive slippage on this. I, I'm, I imagine what happened here is uh, probably at the close of this trade, we had a burst of action in price on, two, on our two contracts. So uh, this is about the most positive slippage I've ever seen. This is uh, $462 positive slippage. Okay, next up is the mid cap on a Superanko 10 tick. This hit its goal of 2000 for the day. So here is our daily goal here. This was moderately active for the day. Here's the last couple of trades that brought us up to our goal. But if I tighten up the equity chart, you can see we did draw down about $700. So it was fairly active today. Here, here's our uh, complete equity graph. So indeed, we had a drawdown, but then we recovered beginning at the 10.30 hour. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick, and this hit its goal for the day of 1975. And here's our template, the one at 3 a.m. open, and our daily goal of 2,000 with a loss limit of 1,500. Okay, next up is the crude on a Superenco 7 tick, and this is a limit order with a 3 tick pullback, and it has a $1,500 profit target and a loss limit. So looking at this a little bit closer, uh, we hit our goal plus a little bit of positive slippage, but it was quite volatile today. We had a pretty uh, sharp drawdown here of about $800 or so right here, maybe $900. But then uh, we bottomed out at uh, the 1030 hour, and it was mostly up from there, beginning with this spectacular short trade. And quite a few winners here to bring us up to our goal. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 150 tick chart. And this did 1575 for the day. Uh, here is our template. On this chart, I increased the goal to 2500. It used to be 1500. And I upped it a little bit. It's a limit order with a pullback of eight ticks. So this has been uh, very consistent for us. We've seen this chart quite a bit. Okay, next is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick. It starts trading pre-market. This did 1,075 for the day. Here is the template for this chart, and the daily goal is 1,000. So we had uh, six ticks of positive slippage. Just want to remind everybody that, well, this one's trading three contracts. So, so this is a little over $300 per contract. So when you break it down, a uh, $1,000 profit goal on two contracts is really only 500 per contract. Okay, next is the crude oil on a Superenco 6 tick. And this is using our line break logic. Uh, here is the template. And a little bit different sensitivity. We have another crude oil 6 tick chart with slightly different settings. The goal on this is 1,030 and it's using a stop order. So this one, again, using a stop order with the line break logic. So we do avoid some whipsaws because the signals have to agree. Nice performance on here, hitting its goal. And this has been fairly consistent. OK, next up is the DAX on a regular Renko 8 tick chart. Here is the template for this in our higher time frame is actually a lower time frame, a six tick, but this turned out pretty good 
our goal on this is 1500 so uh, we hit our goal right on the numbers with no slippage okay next up is the e mini s p on a 1597 hike and chart this had a total of three trades this was half of a loser here and then a couple of winners after that brought us to our goal i think our goal on this is probably a thousand and indeed it is so it had one tick of positive slippage a limit order with a three tick pullback here is the template on this chart on here i have the uh, bwt uh, volume reversal bar signals plotted and there's some some nice looking signals here these plot at the close of the bar they don't have to wait a couple of bars and then it goes back and plots it plots at the close of the bar and the idea behind it is if on this bar here uh, the bar closed in the bottom half of the bar but the volume on this bar was the up volume was greater than the down volume so it uh, plots a signal okay this is a chart that's been very consistent for us for a long time looks like we got prematurely stopped out here on this trade but then re-entered so this did 1275 and our goal on this one is 1300 so just shy of our goal on the e mini 987 tick line break chart our setup on this again is three line breaks on the actual line break chart so pretty solid performance here on this first trade we obviously uh, drew down uh, well two losers here we, we actually drew down uh, nearly a thousand dollars so quite quite a, a steep drawdown but we are allowing some room here so kind of just goes to show uh, the discipline that the auto trader brings to the table it'd be easy to get uh, demoralized by uh, such a large drawdown and a couple of losing trades and quit trading but but here we have our goals and our loss limits uh, set at the beginning of the tr of trading and in this case uh, why we were almost taken out for the day it came back and actually hit its goal and this happens quite a bit with the auto trader Okay, the crude oil on a 377 tick line break chart. This did 1,020 for the day. Here's the template here, and then our daily goal is 1,000, so positive slippage. This one has a limit order with just a two tick pullback. Uh, we've had an awful lot of positive slippage today. So, uh, slippage is not always negative. Both winners and losers on this chart, but it was probably this big uh, winning short trade here that uh, propelled us to our our goal okay next up is the precision Renko 8 with a 150 reversal and this has been super consistent for us this is using the line break logic and you can see we got filled on our limit order on a pullback this is the line break signal and notice we didn't go short here remember the auto trader would want to go short if we get red bars so when we use our line break logic, we can filter out trades based on the line break signal. We, we won't take a short trade unless we have a line break signal to go short. And that's why we did not take a short trade uh, based on these red bars here. Okay, we had a modest gain on the E-mini S&P Superenco 4 tick. And I believe this is using a a uh, six tick higher time frame super Inco six is a higher time frame and our goal is 750 so this could potentially trade again but still 525 for the day on a single trade is quite good okay next up is the e-mini s p on a super Inco two tick and this has a six tick as a higher time frame and we came up to about 400 on our first trade had a loser here and then another winner brought us to uh, 700 and I think our goal on this is 750 that's all for today's video thanks for watching today